Hi, this is John Orr. I'm going to be doing a pre-fire plan of Stampede Post Productions, which is located on 931 North Citrus Avenue in Hollywood, California. This is the fire hydrant that the fire department would use in the event that Stampede had a fire. It's located 250 feet away from the building. This is a wet barrel hydrant, which means that there's a constant supply of water in the hydrant because generally out here we don't get temperatures that are below freezing. This is a steamer hydrant because there's two discharges. There's a two and a half inch discharge and a four inch discharge. Due to the color yellow, it indicates that there are 500 to 1,000 gallons per minute flowing out of this when it is fully charged. Also another feature is that it has shear bolts. So if a car hit it, it would just shear off and it wouldn't do any damage to the under underlying of the hydrant. All you would have to do is put another hydrant on. This is Stampede Post Productions water supply. There is no fire department connection and no OSNY, which is an outside stem and yoke. This is the only area that controls the water to the building. Stampede Post Productions is a type 2A building construction, which means that there are protected, non-combustible interior slash exterior surfaces. It also has a truss roof, which means there are no interior supporting walls holding up the building. This is the open truss roof structure on the interior of the building. Stampede is also a Group B classification for occupancy, which means that it is a business. This is the main lobby reception area for Stampede Post Productions. We're on the main floor right now. There are a total of 14 offices with one of them being upstairs. Now going to the second floor office space of Stampede Post. This is the main interface for the alarm system and smoke detectors. There are a total of three smoke detectors located throughout the building all of which are located in the front lobby. There is no automatic sprinkler system located in the building. The only means of fire protection that Stampede has is through the Halotron fire extinguishers and the smoke detectors. Stampede has no carbon monoxide alarms. There is one illuminated exit sign leading out of the main entrance to the building. It also has emergency lighting next to it, which goes on when the power goes out. There are two other emergency lighting systems located throughout the building. This business has no fire rated doors or assemblies located anywhere in the building. This is the plot plan for Stampede Post Productions. It is located off the cross streets of Willoughby Avenue and Romaine Street on Citrus Avenue. The two main streets that Stampede is located by are La Brea Avenue and North Highland Avenue. The two hydrants closest to Stampede are right here and here on the corners of both Romaine and Willoughby. Stampede is 49 feet by 96 feet. There are three exits. The exits are located in the front of the building, on the left side of the building, and in the back of the building. Also, the utility shutoff room is located going out of the third exit. 
This is the floor plan for Stampede Post Productions. The three exits are located here in the front of the building, here on the side of the building, and here in the back of the building. The gas shutoff is located in the front of the building to the right of the exit and entrance doors. The electrical utility room is located in the back of the building where you can lead out of the third exit. This is Stampede Post Production's electrical room. The electrical main coming into the building puts out 480 volts. Stampede has a total of five fire extinguishers. This is a Halotron BC fire extinguisher. It is a classification of 5 BC. The B stands for Class B fires, which is flammable liquids, and the C stands for Class C fires, which is energized electrical equipment. NFPA 10 is the standard for fire extinguishers. When it is fully charged, this fire extinguisher weighs 8 pounds, 13 ounces, and is pressurized to 100 psi. Halotron is a good extinguisher for this business because they work with computers. The chemical does no damage to electrical equipment, whereas a normal ABC fire extinguisher with monoammonium phosphate as a chemical does do damage. The first one is in the front of the building, located here. The second one is in one of the exits. The third one is in the machine room. The fourth one is in the electrical room leading to one of the exits also. And the fifth is upstairs in the office space.